Each year, we invite our newest undergraduates to explore an important theme. This year is like no other. The pandemic, a national movement against racial injustice, and a presidential election combine to make this clear. How fitting it is for Penn to be embarking on the most urgent and unique discussion in the history of this program. This is the year of civic engagement. Our students' experience during this year will lay the foundation for an education like no other, their Penn education. Civic engagement is always relevant because it's part of Penn's DNA. We have to be engaged as a campus in our world. At Penn, there are deep, deep roots to civic engagement. It begins with Benjamin Franklin, who in 1749 wrote proposals for educating the youth of Pennsylvania. And in that, he created the first institution of its kind, an institution dedicated to service and dedicated to citizenship. Civic engagement for a lot of students is the glue that brings together their Penn experience. It helps them understand better what they're studying in class. It helps them connect to their role in the world. It sets a framework for a career of meaning. There's a whole lot of challenges when it comes to inequities in the world. And Penn is not an island. And so the challenges that we face are the challenges that the world faces. We are a campus that is situated in a broader context. And if that broader context isn't thriving, then we're not thriving as a university. For me, it's been really empowering to know that, yeah, there are huge issues going on in the world, but I, I still have the power to make a difference where I am right now. We can't turn a blind eye to what's happening in the community that surrounds us. Our campus is open and West Philadelphia runs right through the middle of it. Students at Penn have multiple opportunities, service learning courses, clubs and organizations, activities that are developed outside of the formal structure of Penn to engage in the larger West Philadelphia and Philadelphia communities. Being at Penn has really taught me I can further civic engagement. I'm always really interested and dialogue and how do you frame questions and we should be able to come together and have conversations in a way that's productive. What's really exciting is that what students study in the classroom and what they experience working out in the community comes to have this sort of symbiotic relationship. When you see students working through that, it's really a wonderful thing. important to be engaged elsewhere beyond the classroom because that's what makes your experience at Penn truly so special. Whether that's people, whether that's a project, planning, I'm using what I learn in my education to make an impact on other people. My hope is that I can help sort of fan the flames, that if where there's sort of smaller sparks of folks who want to do good, on and around campus, I can sort of fan that flame and make that grow into to a benevolent kind of raging fire that does some even better good. How many things are in there? Two. No matter how much good work each of us may do separately, it is small compared to all that we can achieve when we work together. Even as we physically distance, we come together, we partner with our neighbors, we address inequities, and that's the way we improve our world. When you collaborate, you don't have a single agenda. So those of us who are affiliated with Penn don't walk into a community discussion and impose our agenda on that discussion. We have to collaborate and become partners. It's mutually beneficial and mutually transformative. It's really both the institution and the community is improving. Young people across the world are picking up the bat. They're taking it and they're saying, I want to do something. We will step up to bat and it's our time to do something because in the end, it is our world. And this next generation that's coming up, I think is one of the most engaged, caring, passionate, active groups of young people that we've had in a very long time. I'm excited that we get to witness young people stepping up and grabbing the reins. We want to make sure that students know that they can make a difference. And the only way you can kind of know that is if you do it. Go out there, try something, take a course, take a service learning course, do a fellowship. 
Nothing is more important than educating our students to be citizens who can make a difference now while they're students, and nothing is more appropriate than for that to happen at Benjamin Franklin's university, which from its beginning has been dedicated to the civic development of young people. We just have to be a little bit creative and a little bit innovative. Now is the time. The need is greater now than ever for us to enter in and contribute. I have definitely learned so much being at Penn and being able to work with different organizations in Philly that I've seen my self-growth and that's really instilled confidence in me that I'm, I'm capable of doing this. A lot of Penn students know what they're passionate about, if it's nursing, if it's engineering or maybe tutoring and they're able to kind of find civic engagement opportunities through their passions. There is a lot of opportunity to explore how the existing programs that we have can adapt to these new virtual environments and trying to find new ways of engagement, new ways of learning that could go into the future. The civic engagement of Penn students, faculty and staff makes us a more inclusive, a more innovative and a more impactful university. The major problems facing the world are transdisciplinary, and I think that's why we're successful in engaging and dealing with fundamental problems, because we bring different people with different kinds of knowledge to the solution. Engagement was getting directly involved in trying to resolve some of the issues and problems we have today. The problems won't go away by themselves. Every day we can wake up and choose to make an impact. Don't let the circumstances stop you, and remember that there's always a way to make a difference.